Hello everyone and welcome to Stylish Cost Calculator. In this example we are going to take a price list for, from a t-shirt printing company and uh, show you how to, to build it. Um, I've already done it on the left side here but we are going to show you how to do it from scratch. Uh, basically you'll see here on the right side there's a kind of a complex pricing structure on how um, this t-shirt printing company does their pricing. Um, depending on how much quantity you get depends on the price. So the more you buy the more you save. Uh, as well as the different t-shirt printing materials, if it's a t-shirt, if it's a hoodie or a v-neck, you're going to pay a different price. So a lot of, there's not a single cost calculator right now on the market that can handle um, these kind of different pricing. So we're going to show you how to do it in our Stylish Cost Calculator. Uh, one of the reasons why I want to point out that we called it Stylish Cost Calculator as well as the other plugins that we do um, develop as well is because we try to make everything look as clean and as professional as possible to enhance the quality of your website where I noticed that in uh, previously the uh, plugins that I have downloaded and used uh, they don't really pay attention too much to um, cleanliness and, and style and uh, that's something that we are trying to do here and, and focus on. So for this example, uh, we're going to build this from scratch, but just to show you how it works, you basically select your shirt material, the logo location, and, and, the, and the shirt material, and uh, it just goes from there. All right, let's get started. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add new at the bottom left here, and we're just going to call this uh, shirt printing for tutorial video just so that I know. Uh, we can go ahead and save the calculator so it adds it to the database. And uh, we're going to create a new section. This will just be called custom t-shirt printing. This is the description box below. You can call it whatever you want. Description saying it's not grammatically correct. All right, we're gonna add a subsection. Everything in a subsection will get multiplied by each other. So if you don't want a slider to impact a drop down or a checkbox uh, in terms of the multiplication, then you're just gonna add it to a new subsection. For example, in this example, you'll see how uh, this slider impacts this. So depending if it's a performance shirt, it's $3 per shirt and 10, 11 shirts will multiply the price of the performance on top of the standard price of the shirt together to come up with the total value. If you didn't want, if you wanted to add a second slider that might impact something else, uh, then you're just going to add into another subsection. So for here, we're going to do shirt material. And for this one, this is a t shirt. The price is included. Uh, they don't charge you for having a t-shirt, but if you want a soft tee, they will charge you an extra dollar. If you want a performance shirt, then they're going to charge you an extra $3 per shirt. Next, we're going to add a, another checkbox uh, drop-down, sorry, uh, and this will be the logo, um, how many logos you want. So let's say logo location. Uh, if it's one logo location on a white shirt, they're charging you the standard price. But if it's two logo locations on a white shirt, they're charging an extra $5 on average. It's 19 to 24, 18 to 23. So we're going to add an extra $5 per shirt. If it's one on a dark shirt, then they're charging you on average an extra four dollars so we're going to add four dollars here next we're going to add the slider the slider is the shirt quantity that they're purchasing and it's also the price breaking structure as well because they're doing a price break depending on if you buy a bulk bulk amount um this one uh, one thing i want to point out is the slider step is one so for every time the slider goes up it's just adding one shirt and the default value when the person loads the screen will be one. So from zero to one shirts, they're charging you $28 for the standard price. From two to two shirts, so it's just purchasing only two shirts, 
they're giving you a price break of 25 so an extra three dollar price break per shirt three to four uh, right here you'll see it's twenty one dollars and uh, we'll do from five to six at nineteen we're not going to go into too much detail for this tutorial we like to keep them nice and short save we just we just made this in under three minutes it, it's super easy guys embed to the page once you want to add your cost calculator to any page you want um, we're going to click add new page for this example um, we're going to use the uh, visual composer because it's one, one of the most popular uh, the WP Bakery visual visual composer any any page builder they all kind of work the same you just want to make sure you're using text and not visual okay add the short code here we're going to make it a little bit smaller just so it doesn't take up the full width of the page and we're just going to preview it and voila here we go here's your cost calculator looks a little better I find when you add uh, the descriptions here because it just makes it thicker I find that it looks nicer oh also um, this is a good opportunity for me to show you that you could go to font settings and just choose your your brand colors and uh, you can choose whatever color you want it allows you to pick unlimited colors you press save you can choose the font size the font type anything like that it's fully customizable we can go ahead and and re and uh, preview that again, and now you got your 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 color, your brand colors. One thing I want to point out is we are coming out with some cool new features very soon, where customers can email themselves this quote, this um, this estimate, uh, as well as it will email it to the site administrator as well. These are all really cool new features that will be coming out very shortly, so do wait for that and uh, you can check out our YouTube video for any other tutorials for other industries like DJs, photographers, any other industry that could use a cost calculator uh, which I find is pretty much almost any industry um, and yeah we're gonna continue to to make this bigger and better just to, uh, to show you a couple little quick other uh, for example if you're if you're a website designer um, this is this one I made for website designers you can click on the little buttons here and we have d different options you can do uh, check check marks you can do animated uh, anima animated ones you can do toggle switches the reason why we call it stylish cost calculator is because uh, we, we try to build it in, in the, the most stylish way possible uh, so we do have you can go ahead on our designful brando site here and pretty much click on any other template we have we have uh, venue rental car rental templates uh, anything that that this is the toggle switch that I was showing you earlier with your slider and your options um, really cool n very nice and clean and minimal uh, the user gets to understand real quickly that these are different subsections so this relates to the vehicle type this is the extra stuff um, this here is going to multiply the two things above it these things here are just a la carte options that still add to the total price very simple alright guys Thank you very much for watching.